to somebody at their lowest moment right now watching this video, what do you say to them? There's only one way, one direction. If you're at the bottom, there's only one way, but you gotta look up. And when you look up, there's somebody there waiting for you. His name is G-O-D. Mm -hmm. And he's there with a hand, reaching out, waiting for you to take control of your life. Because I learned one very important lesson. Your relationship with God is like that of a captain and a crew member. Mm -hmm. One rows, the other one steers. But it's very interesting because many times in our life we want to get confident and cocky and arrogant. And God says, I steer, but I do not row. Mm -hmm. We need to put in the work and God will guide. And that's the greatest lesson I've learned. I would say ask her out. No matter who she is, whether she's a job or a new city or or a actual person. You know, whether whether she's uh an opportunity or a fear, you know? If you're afraid of heights, ask her out. A lot of times I'll be in a tours at my run or something like that. And I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if? I can become someone that no one thinks I can be. And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? I just want to remind you because, you know, I've spent a lot of time in my life sitting around wanting things to change. Um, and not being able to make them change and, and not thinking I could. And I wish somebody had told me that earlier sometimes. That in order for something to change, there needs to be change. Here, the fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, yep. always not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. I could have been great. I never forget one time I was running by a graveyard. I mean, I was fucking just trying to become, I was fat. And I ran by a graveyard, and I looked out there, and I have all these epiphanies, man. I have all these fucking moments of like, of, it's crazy, man, of, of this thought. Because I'm always by myself, I'm always in deep fucking thought about how to be better. And I look out there, I'm like, man, I wonder how many of you motherfuckers in there fucking just are so upset with how you lived your life. Mm. And fucking just regret how you lived it and I'm running a 300 pound man thinking man don't fucking die like this bro don't die like this so people wonder where this shit comes from from me it, it, it comes from such deep thought of trying to see what this is all about what is this life all about what am I all about why am I here you know I had to I had to find purpose and my suffering it had a purpose it had a fucking purpose. Do you talk? One thing that's really been pressing with me that we discussed is staying motivated. And I have been finding myself more motivated even when I do not feel like doing something to do it. That my brain doesn't dictate how. My brain does not get to choose. It choose it, my brain can feel a certain way, but it's not going to choose how I behave all the time. I just can't let it do it anymore I'm going to have setbacks I know but if I'm feeling bad that doesn't mean I'm doing bad that doesn't mean I am bad that doesn't mean that I can't still take some action because yeah nothing changes and nothing changes man you know we'll sit around forever wondering well what if I you can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life you can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life. And that hit me. I mean, he packs a powerful punch and that mug, he, damn, he hit me with a damn word punch, you know, 
with a word hook. Because I've, I've been, that's what I've done. My whole life has been like that. Inside of me, it has been. As soon as it's all lined up, I'm going to show you myself. As soon as I've got it all looking the way I want, I'm going to show up for you. And for me. If you pan it down here, you see it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. And there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing. Not a car or a person in sight. People want to know where I find my strength at. Where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places. But right now, this morning, I'm getting it from... There's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car. There's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hate it's a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. Stay hard.